Well, so what I want to do is talk to you a little bit about our perpendicular lines. And to do that, I'm going to go back to what we've talked about with parallel lines. Now, remember, parallel lines had a couple of main important characteristics that we had to remember to be able to find the equation of, a parallel, of parallel lines. So I'm just going to do a quick little sketch here of an example of parallel lines. So we can just kind of go back and review what we have with parallel lines. Now, remember, parallel lines do not intersect, right? And the reason why they do not intersect is because their slopes, the change in y over the change in x for both of them, is always going to be exactly the same constant. Let's call this a over b. Let's call this a over b. The, ratio, the distance of um, the ratio of b over a, our rise over our run, was exactly the same. And these never, ever intersect. And the other very, very important thing about parallel lines is they cannot have the same y-intercept. Because if they had the same y-intercept and the same slope, well, they'd be exactly the same line. So that's really important for us to understand about parallel lines is they have exactly the same slope, but their y-intercepts have to be different. Now, perpendicular lines we're going to look at a little bit differently. And I'm going to kind of do two examples of perpendicular lines. Don't want to run too much out of space here. All right. So we know that parallel lines never, ever, ever intersect. Perpendicular lines always, always intersect. And they just don't intersect um, at any angle. They intersect at an angle of what we call 90 degrees. All right, And that's going to be true for all perpendicular lines. All perpendicular lines are going to have an intersection where their angles, the distance, the angle between the um, two lines is going to be 90 degrees. Now, you notice here, let me kind of extend this line here a little bit. You notice here that these two perpendicular lines have different y-intercepts. And that is sometimes the case. However, we can also draw perpendicular lines that have the same y-intercept. So when it was true that parallel lines never, ever had the same y-intercept, perpendicular lines, it is possible to have the same y-intercept. So it is something that we need to be careful of. Now, the next thing is let's kind of look at what's happening. How does that 90 degree area, uh, distance really kind of help us out? Well, one thing we notice, if we look at the slopes, and actually let's just look at over here. The slope of this line is positive, because if I read this graph from left to right, we notice that we're going in the positive direction. And if I read the slope of this graph, I can see that the graph is going to be going down in the negative direction. So when we have perpendicular lines, and that's true for this one as well, when we have perpendicular lines, what we notice is that the slopes are going to be different. They are not going to be exactly the same. One slope will be positive, and one slope will be negative, which sometimes we just call them opposite, right? Opposite slopes. The next thing we need to look at is, let me go and see here. Let's see if I can get a good example here. The next thing that we're going to look at is they, their slopes are going to be what we call reciprocals of each other. So if I call this one b over a, then this one is going to be b a. So their slopes are actually what we call opposite reciprocals, meaning that they're going to be reciprocals of each other. So if I said that this line has a slope of b over a, then this line is going to have a slope of a nah, of a over b. All right. So perpendicular lines have reciprocal slopes. And also, if this, if this slope is positive, then we know that this slope has to be negative. So we're going to get into some processes of how to find perpendicular lines when given an equation um, going through a point. I just kind of want to give you a brief little overview of perpendicular lines. Thanks.